Education in the United States can be quite expensive. The average tuition cost ranges from $9,000 to $27,000 a year for an American citizen. So I dedicated myself to finding a way to make enough money not only to pay for tuition, but also cover my living expenses. And you know what? It wasn't easy, but I think I got it. First of all, I had to calculate the total amount of money I needed and think about all the ways I could make that money to pay for everything, before I'm retired. If you take into account rent, food, insurance and tuition, you get around $150,000. On top of that, international students are not allowed to work more than 20 hours a week and are very limited in choosing a job. So, realistically speaking, it is extremely hard to earn about $150,000 in a short amount of time, unless you're someone like Rajesh. Handsome, intelligent... Rich parents, don't forget rich parents! So I spent some time coming up with an idea of how to make my dream come true, and came up with this genius plan. Make a game, make it good, make it free, and let people donate if they like it. Profit. First, I had to find an interesting idea and create a story around it. It can be a very difficult task, but given that I've always loved video games and movies about the end of the world, I decided to use 60 seconds and Fallout Shelter as inspiration and reference. The idea is pretty simple. There's been an outbreak of a virus and you went into a safe house to wait it out and hopefully be rescued by the army. Secondly, I needed models and sounds, so I went on Unreal's marketplace to get them. I found this model pack that I really liked and that fitted the premise of the game. However, the original level was quite big, so I had to cut it in half and change it up a little bit. The level also featured a lot of references to the creator's friends and family, so I had to remove those as well. Then I had to lay down the core mechanic of the game. After asking some stupid questions on the internet and being thrown rocks at, I finally had a decent prototype. The idea is once again simple. You have to go to the city to gather resources and use them to upgrade your safe house, heal yourself and not starve. The city has five different zones that have different amounts of supplies. The more supplies the zone has, the greater the risk of running into raiders and losing health points or even dying. Every day when you wake up, the zones are randomized to keep the gameplay from becoming boring. But simply going outside wasn't fun enough. I wanted to do something extra. So I added random events in which you have to make a decision that will ultimately affect the ending you get at the end of the game. Yes, this game has multiple endings. Now, how do players progress in the game? Throughout your survival, the army will be getting in touch via radio to keep you posted on evacu evacuation, 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 evacuation. Throughout your survival, the army will be getting in touch via radio to keep you posted on evacuation where and when. The following message is transmitted at the request of the U.S. government. Stay indoors. Do not engage with anyone displaying any symptoms of the madness disease. However, besides eating and healing, you have to survive the time-based events. Every day there is a certain chance of a random event happening, such as a gas leak, raiders trying to break in, a generator failing, or a trader coming onto the radio to, well, trade. All these events require you to act fast and solve the problem in a short amount of time. Here's a little breakdown. Let's start with the generator event. If the generator fails, it starts making a lot of noise attracting all the nasty things. To fix it, you need to rush to the generator, hold E and pray to God you did it on time. Don't worry though. The first time any of these events happen, the game says to pause and shows a tutorial on what to do in your situation. In case of a gas leak, you only have a few seconds to press G to put on a gas mask, otherwise your character will suffocate. After putting the mask on, you have to find the air filter switch on the wall and use it by pressing E. But be careful. The filters in your gas mask decay, so you will have to craft new ones by using scrap. And then there is the trader event. It is the only event when you are in no danger and can simply ignore the voice in the radio, if you feel like it. The trader offers a bunch of goods, such as food, medicine, or even a gun that lowers your risks while going out. To trade, you need to have enough scrap to buy the item you want. The last event is raiders breaking into your safe house. This one starts suddenly, so... It's kind of an intentional jump scare. As soon as you hear the loud banging on your door, you have to run to the door and press E to close it. But to feel more relaxed and have more time to deal with your problems, you can upgrade your safe house as well as your storage space by calling the number you see on the screen. Just kidding, use the bench by the door. It allows you to have more time to react should anything bad happen. After that, I had to make some music for my game to make it more immersive. So here's the main theme. Now that's um that's um that's something
Anyway, the game is rather short and it will take you about 45 minutes to an hour to beat it twice and get both endings. So, this game is a one-time experience. But by releasing this game, I'm one step closer to my dream of going to college and getting a degree. I will keep working on this game and make sure it's as good as I can possibly make it. I will make another video showing the final polishes and new features before releasing it. In the meanwhile, you can listen to my latest song Summer Festival or subscribe to the channel and join my Discord server to stay in the loop. Stay awesome and keep making this world a better place.